This is the Night Wolf howling at you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Dashiell R. Fairborn, codename Flint. We have the standard release as well as the Tiger Force variation in front of us. We got some nice artwork on the side. Does not appear as if they used the same artwork on both packages, which is kind of nice. Because they typically do just repaint stuff. We just have a generic back on the standard release. And we have the product picture on the back of the Tiger Force one. First things first, we will open up our original release. What's kind of interesting to note, though, is that when you compare the image of the back of Tiger Force and the figure for Flint, it does look like Tiger Force comes with uh, two additional pieces of equipment. So we have Flint out of his package here. Our buddy Flint here has a nice little scar going across his eye. A lot of people I remember hearing complain about the hairdo they gave him. It does look kind of silly. Not my favorite. So as far as articulation go, he's got the, the hinge joint in the neck. His head's on a ball joint and a hinge joint, so he's got some pretty good range of motion here. We've got the butterfly joint that G.I. Joe has. Arms go up, down, spin around, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, although with the size of his forearm and the size of his bicep, you don't get quite the same um, closure as we have in some other figures. The hand spins and he has an in and out hinge on his wrist. There would be an ab crunch under there. It's kind of hard to really tell because of his harness. He does have the waist ball joint. We have the drop down hips for a little bit of additional articulation. Thigh cut, which is very tight on this figure. Double jointed knees, giving us almost a complete touch in the back. The typical, whoops, hinge slash uh, peg for the feet articulation. Looks like he's reusing some parts from some of the other figures. I recall for the shin guard issue. Pants are probably also duplicates. Uh, I have seen somebody online who took a knife and went ahead and trimmed out some of the body armor here just to give it look like he's just wearing a strap filled with the uh, shotgun shells rather than the full body armor. Which I wish that they made this armor so you could take it off easier. Um, I'm afraid to try removing the arms for customization purposes, but maybe I'll do it anyway at some point. Uh, Ollie's right now has a bunch of G.I. Joe classified Snake Eyes figures for really cheap, so I could pick some of those up to experiment with if I wanted. Weaponry, we've got a shotgun. Doesn't look like your typical shotgun, and it's really flat with no roundness to it. Some details of some shells there. He comes with one of their more futuristic looking pistols. Since this was back when they uh, were trying to do that more futuristic look on these. And he comes with his beret. The beret does sit on his head pretty well and helps to hide that goofy looking hairdo. So now it just looks like he's got a standard buzz cut underneath there maybe. Pistol can fit in the holster. The pistol does not have a port for any effects. 
but the shotgun itself looks like it does. So. So here we have our standard version of Flint. Who mm, does not want to fit on this figure stand. There we go. By the way, I ordered a case of like a hundred of these stands because I like them better than the NECA ones because they do have the double pegs, which my opinion helps hold them in place better. Now let's go ahead and open up our Tiger Force Flint. Said he is basically just a Ray Deco. Might have some additional equipment. Well, definitely has the additional equipment. First we got Flint here. And we have his box of goodies. Oh yeah, he's got a holster for the shotgun on his back too. So that's pretty nice. In order to do that on him, they had to uh, put a hole in the back, which is going to have a negative effect on the bit of artwork that's on the inside of these things nowadays. Well, let's go ahead and get him out of here. Hmm. <sighs> so we have the black and white uh, image of Flint that has become kind of the standard thing to do with the plastic free packaging boxes lately. Okay, granted all of them don't have Flint, but you know, the character artwork. Flint himself, basically sporting the same outfit as his previous version. The deco, of course, is different. But he does have an additional uh, bit of leg uh, sheath here for the uh, machete he comes with. Articulation is, of course, the same because it's the same figure. I do kind of feel like looking at some of the different uh, Tiger Force figures that I've seen so far. There really doesn't seem to be a standard in coloring aside from doing Tiger Stripes. And I think it'd be nice if they actually kind of standardized that a bit better. Uh, with some of the Night Force figures that are coming out, they're mostly black and charcoal gray. So, so if we take a look at him, you can barely see the scar that's on his face because of the face paint which, of course, gives him more of a look like um, the Green Arrow from the first season of Arrow back when the CW started that show. He still has the same bad hairdo, although they did put more of the buzz cut at the bottom than they did in the previous version, which I would say actually does improve the look of the figure more to have that additional hair colored in. He doesn't look as much like a douchebag. Sorry, Flint. Just saying it like it is. We got our typical waxy feel paper. Like our previous version, he does come with a shotgun. This time, color different. Oh, look at that. I did not realize that that actually broke open for loading. That's cool. I like it. Though you can't really pop out any of the shells to load it with. This time he also comes with a rifle with a magazine. We have the same pistol as previously released. 
This time we get a nice machete for the jungle warfare. I'll just take a better look at this rifle. And this time his beret is in brown. That back in place. Said so he's actually got and the holster here for the for the machete is designed a bit different too. You see it's cut all the way open there so that you can pull it out like that. But they had to design it that way basically because of the shape here. You wouldn't have been able to fit that in there if the hole was just straight down. Makes you kind of wonder how that would work in real life. Go ahead and put all of his gear back on him. I wonder if this should go in here like this. I guess maybe that's actually how that's supposed to sit instead of like that, huh? Yeah, that fits in there better. Although it does seem to me like that would be kind of difficult to grab onto. So they basically colored this stuff more or less. I mean, it's different colors, but the scheme is still pretty much the same on the vest. You got the main area here being kind of a black gray. Those are the shells are all painted the same. Although in the case of the original version, we do have more of a glossy black for the end of the shells where this just matches in with the same gray that they use there. A more olive green to the forest green of the vest there. Otherwise, the deco is laid out the same. Whereupon our original version of Flint has more of a camouflage look to his pants. Tiger Forest does not. We do have the black uh, button-up shirt. We have it, in this case, brown with the tiger stripes being the only thing that really shows us that he's Tiger Force. And instead of having the military... I'm not really sure what that logo is supposed to be on Flint's head, now that I think about it. But they gave him the Tiger Force logo there instead. So overall... Our buddy Flint here... Looks pretty cool. I, I, I'm I not sure which one I prefer, though. Like, I will say the deco definitely, for the hair, looks much better on the Tiger Force one. But I'm not a big, ooh, big fan of the, you know, the, the grease paint on his face. I also don't like that it hides the scar so much there. Like... It looks like they may not even have really painted the scar at all on this version. Certainly, if they did, it doesn't stand out as much as the previous one. They did do extra deco on the hands, so that's kind of nice. All right, shipwreck, I'm going to you go and check the latrines and make sure they don't need to be cleaned. Aye, aye, sir. Eat this, Flint. What did you say, shipwreck? I said it was good talking to you, Flint. That's what I thought. Oh, shit. Cobra's coming. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. <sighs> Smack. Ugh. Time to change. To hide in this area that has no jungle whatsoever. Ugh. Okay, that was painful even for me. <laughs> uh. Anyway. I think this will conclude our look at the Tiger Force, Flint, 
and a standard release flint please feel free to like comment and subscribe and i'm sure this video is going to get a lot of hate thank you very much peace and love Trouble over land and sea and air.